What is going on guys? It's your boy, D1 Snipes here, back today with another video. What we're going to be doing today is uh, offensive side for BioLab, that's the wrong controller. Don't mind, pink shirted bastard in the background. She won't distract us too much. Alright, so for the goal on every single destroy offense that I like to run for any map on any Call of Duty is to get the bomb down as quickly as possible. So what you're going to do for an A-side push here is you want your bomb carrier, obviously with the BAL, unless it's banned by the time this gets to you guys. But he's going to run uh, on the outside right here, just a real basic setup. But his first priority is going to be looking uh, on the outside, somebody that pushed the actual bomb and then uh, right here. So he's just gonna kinda pre-aim this for about three or four seconds and if he doesn't see anybody, boost around here, check this corner. This corner is really, really important because the defense can rush pretty easily in this little green room and then just kinda sit here and it really messes up teams A pushes, especially if he gets right, killed right here and then pops up and kills your guy up here. So another spot, if you want your bomb carrier to also have a sniper, sometimes I'll run it here. Uh, you can look at this back AC, uh, that thing's in the way, but you can look at that back AC unit. Usually people send snipers and AR players up here. So you can just kind of peek that and you can shoot through that. Uh, there's also, you have this side and then you can even shoot through here. Uh, it's really hard for the guy over there to see you unless he's got like thermal, but just throw your cold blooded on and you're good. Uh, what you want your second guy who's actually pushing the bomb, you want him to come up here. And his main responsibility is just to watch anybody going top green or top generator, anybody that's jumping up to the second level. So you're trying to have the minimal responsibility per person as you can. So you want probably your best AR, your best communicator right here to see if they've got a guy up top over there or if they've got a guy on the little catwalk thing or if they've got somebody pushing here at all. So if these two guys can get set up fine here, then this guy's going to go ahead and try and plant the bomb right here. So another thing that you're looking for and this guy may want to do is as soon as this guy hops on bomb, have this guy, if he doesn't see anybody, jump down here and clear out this room right here. This is all he's got to clear. So you can watch the cross and you can hear anybody jumping up on top of you. So if you can get the bomb down, good setup, somebody lay right here and then have your bomb guy back up to somewhere back here. And just don't get picked. That's your main objective is just stay alive back here. So you want your guy that plants the bomb, you want him back in here watching the second story, and then you want your other guy in the green room watching the cross. Now for people watching the flank, you want to have a guy at least for like the first half of the round sit right here. You, can, you can't shoot through this, but it's very hard to see like through that hallway. If you see anybody, shoot right through that. Pretty easy kill in yellow hallway. Um, for your last guy watching the flank, this is... You can have a sniper or an AR, it doesn't really matter. But just sitting right here in the spawn is just a great spot to watch. He uh, can watch middle and he can watch the cross from up top, down bottom. Uh, he, basically all you want him to do is watch your full flank. The one thing he can't see is the middle, but that's what you have the guy in the yellow uh, in there for. He can also snipe in B bomb room if somebody pushes up into that room. And... <clears throat> One more thing that he can do is uh, if you want to push three into this side, you can kind of sit all the way back here we lost and watch fight, your full flank from both sides. So sides. you only have a corner of that map and the defense is going to kind of surround you really, really quickly if you set up that way. But honestly, it offers you the most the protection. So for this side, I know I'm on defense, but I'm just going to run over here and show you my break for a B push. Um, for B, this is a really hard push to make. It's really hard to get the bomb down in B because there's a lot of different things that the defense can do and there's a lot of different spots. So my very first recommendation is to have probably your best AR and your best communicator right here. So basically what he's doing is he's watching in the bomb room 
uh, anybody that's pushing towards the middle and he's also can see the top right here anybody that pushes the top and you can also lay down and you can see almost the whole thing as well as pick his pick up anybody that's behind this box and off to the side of the uh, bomb building uh, this guy is probably going to be your bomb carrier because you really want this guy to stay alive and honestly he's got the most protection so if he starts getting shot at it's just a quick jump and then he's pretty safe honestly uh, depending on your sniper you can have him sit up here and watch this guy's outside so this guy doesn't have to worry about his left he can just worry about the room and then the top of the uh, bomb building so if you can have a sniper just kind of lay here, uh, usually the defense won't check up here. I know that sounds kind of weird, but normally a guy on a flank is just trying to get to these guys the fastest. The guys in the middle and then your bomb carrier. So your sniper can just kind of chill out here, or if he really wants to watch the flank, he can just be right here. So this cuts off the whole inside of the map, and you can even see the crosses right there. So the two middle guys, you want to have probably one sub player and then one AR. Jump up, guys just straight laying right here. Uh, right here or uh, somewhere right here. So you can help out with the middle if somebody gets to yellow hallway on the flank. So basically this guy is just helping watch the flank. And you guys are really looking for picks. You almost have to get two down to plant on B. So you're just waiting for the defense to push you and you want your next guy. Obviously he's going to be looking here. He's going to be trying to get a pick inside this room. If anybody pushed, you want to watch this uh, stairway right here. You want to watch this hallway. I know you have a sniper over there. He's got to be talking a bunch. So this is a really hard spot to push and honestly I recommend A side if you're going to do it. But if you do do this, I would try to get a pick. After you get the first pick on this side of the map, that's when you want to try and get the bomb down. And you want this guy and this guy to push in at the same time. You kind of want this guy, if he's carrying the bomb, to push inside. And maybe this guy just kind of sit in this corner. But if he can lay down on, say, this side of the bomb, nobody's going to see him. Okay, he's, he's safe from that top building, that doorway, and the back right there. But... He's not safe from like say this doorway so this guy if he can push up and get to this doorway right here he's in a really good spot to protect the bomb carrier and then after that you're just camping corners doorways a uh, good spot to camp the bomb is up here uh, nobody can see you from any rooftops and you've got a clear view of all of the doorways um, you've got this spot uh, the other day when I was playing I'll show you a spot that we learned if you plan on this side of the bomb if the yellow thing is down the second story window ends up being right here so you can see right in the doorway and you can just lay down in that spot and then check it and even if the defense or yeah the guy on defense would be trying to defuse even if that guy sees you you can just run downstairs and you can get to the other side of the map before I mean he can kill you so you're just trying to buy time anyway, but that's a really, really good spot to do it. Another really good spot is if you can plant the bomb right here, is to check uh, on this rooftop. So if you can push in their base and you think one's flanking, then you've got a clear shot right there. Uh, I think that's about all I've got for the offensive push. Those are two just really, really basic ones. If I come up with anything else, I'll let you guys know. I'll put it in a video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys learned something. I'll catch you on the next one.